that is a good backup plan. It is. Highly recommend the white monster. It is the shit. Hey, look, a penny. Am I supposed to pick this up? How does that saying go? That if you pick up a penny, you're a Jew or something? No, I'm not racist. I am brown. I'm asking a legitimate question. That didn't really work. I was trying to cover the camera with the penny. I think it's too small. What's good? So, just warmed up and yes, ran out of the ghost pre-workout. I'm really sad right now. But, hey, the show must go on and I completely forgot to order some pre-workout since I'm going out of, I was about to say out of country, but out of state. I don't know why I was gonna say out of country. I'm not going to India or anything. I'm going mystery location. Not really mystery, once again, if you guys are following me on social media, which you should, Ayush Swami on Instagram and Ayuswami97 on Twitter. Follow you, follow the brown boy. But pre-workout is gonna be the white monster because I'm out of the ghost. So today I'm gonna make a video on just kind of like, I guess my thoughts, cause this is my first time taking a pre-workout. Well, having a workout with no pre-workout. And I'll make a separate video on like caffeine and stuff. But this is just gonna be like a, a video dedicated to what is Yusha's reaction on no pre-workout Sort of, because I'm pretty sure we can count this as a free workout but let me go tinkle quick. Because this thing really made me have to go tinkle. A few inches later. You really didn't think I was going to bring the camera in the bathroom now, did you? I'm pretty sure that's illegal or something. But, about to finish this. So far, initial reaction, because I'm already warmed up, I'm about to hit my first set. I'm still kind of tired. This monster really isn't helping me, but still damn good. Sprite and 7-Up put together with a hint of lime. But isn't that what 7-Up and Sprite are? No, I really didn't hit myself with the can. You really think I'm that stupid? Probably. But today's a hyper push day, and right now I'm doing five sets, no, three sets of five to seven reps with 160. So, I'm just gonna show you guys like maybe one or two sets of everything because I mean it's kind of like repetitive. So, so far it is not bad. Um, you kind of feel like I'm already getting hit and I'm only on exercise two. And I just had like a 10 minute conversation with a friend of mine and haven't done anything and I'm already feeling the effects of wornness. That made no sense. You know what I mean. So, you too, man. So, time for incline dumbbell. Let's get it. All right, so done with incline dumbbell, and now I don't even feel like my monster is even hitting me. So hopefully, hopefully I can grab some ghosts or some type of pre-workout once I get to mystery location. Anyway, now time for Arnold pressing. So now that I'm done with Arnold presses and now I'm on the uh, incline hammer strength machine, I can say for sure that I don't feel my uh, pre-workout at all. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you guys a couple tips because I feel like this has just been me kind of just reporting back to you guys and I kind of want you guys to take away from something other than just not the whole pre-workout sense because pre-workout is not a necessity, it's more of a luxury. And if you can afford it, go for it. Otherwise, just go with coffee, go with the monster because once you get hooked on the pre-workout, it's really hard to get off of it. And this was literally my first workout that I've ever had that I never... This is my first workout that I've had without a pre-workout. And that monster is almost like a pre-workout, but it's not. Trust me, you'll see the difference when you take your pre-workout for the first time or you lift without it. So, tips on bench and the incline dumbbell and also on the Arnold press, I would say is try to make sure you feel in your chest by getting the nice stretch. 
So go full range of motion. So when you're benching and uh, dumb incline dumbbell, make sure you come all the way down, touch your chest with the bar. Uh, with the dumbbells, make sure your dumbbells are almost touching your chest because you want full range of motion, otherwise you're gonna go to Snap City. And another thing is if you can't touch your chest on the dumbbells, just stay lighter, try to like work on like stretching out, foam rolling, do some mobility work on your shoulders, be able to get down there. And then a tip on the incline hammer strength, I'm gonna show you guys. So if you guys have a machine like this, you see that I have my hand, like it goes through like this little thingy here little thingy here. What I like to do is I like to keep the space right here and then when I press kind of get more of an arch like that. You kind of get like more of an arch like that and the reason why I'm doing that is because it's allowing to put more emphasis on my upper pectorals. You see my pec dance? My heart beats for you guys. You know that? My heart beats for you guys. And why is a lot of people have a very underdeveloped upper chest so by putting as much emphasis as you can, you can make the most amount of your gains in the long run. And then the other thing is, I found personally that when I lean back a little bit, not too much, just a slight bit, to have a little space between you and the bench, you're gonna feel it more in your upper chest. Another thing is that you guys might have noticed is I don't kind of like lock my elbows out and stuff. And that's because with my shoulder issue, it just feels so awkward and I for some reason feel like my shoulder blades get unretracted when I go like that. And that's also the reason why I do that on incline dumbbell. But I feel the most amount of contraction in my chest and I'm gonna keep doing it. And it's also another thing, a lot of old school bodybuilders say about like full time under tension and that's why they don't lock out their elbows. But in powerlifting you should. And there's nothing wrong with it as long as you don't hard lock that shit. But go with how you feel, go with how your body is. But at the end of the day though, make sure you're still going full range of motion. I sort of am, I'm just not allowing my triceps to engage necessarily like that, like this part, you know that part? And I make up for it by having adequate tricep volume. For those of you that are wondering why I don't shave, well, it's because I'm too lazy, but don't worry. The pedo stash will go. The, uh, this excuse of a beard will go right before I go on my flight. All right guys, what's good? So I'm now in my car. Video is now coming to an end. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys learned something. So I want you guys to learn that or not learn, but know that pre-workouts are not everything. It's not a big deal if you don't have one, it's a luxury. And uh, just a quick like report to you guys on like how do I feel about it. Let's just say I need to get some more pre-workout because I do not like no pre-workout yoosh because I feel very sleepy right now. But hey, if you don't take pre-workout on, on the regular, on the daily, don't get into the habit that I did because it's very awkward right now for me. That workout was kind of eh. But I'm gonna buy some Ghost or some BPN flight and endo pump soon, and I'll be good to go. But the video is gonna call it a day today, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Please make sure to smash that thumbs up button and hit that sub button. Hit the sub button, please. And as always, stay brown. Strong.